What's up guys, Dr. Justin Rabinowitz back here, Strive to Move, your local CrossFit movement and mobility expert. What I wanna talk about today is a common flaw I've been seeing over the past couple weeks in my office. It's about how you're doing your rowing exercises. So whether that's a single arm row, a double arm row, a double pull, a double overhead pull, it doesn't matter. I've been seeing the same flaws over and over and I'm gonna talk about two major ones today. So what I want you to pay attention to is how far your elbow goes as you're pulling. So what I see, the most common thing that I see is that we're over rowing our row. What does that mean? Instead of pulling into a good position where we're activating the posterior muscles like the lat and the rhomboid and all those posterior stabilizers, we're actually pulling past that point and then eventually rolling our shoulders forward. So, you might be someone out there that has some anterior shoulder pain and you're not sure why. It may be because you're actually over pulling your row and putting pressure on the front of your shoulder. What I want you to be aware of is as you're rowing, you should bring your elbow no further than your rib cage or your back. So a full row is actually here. It's not going to be all the way back. So let me show you a couple examples. So I'm going to show you a kettlebell single arm row to start. What I see a lot is this. So we pull it all the way up and back. That's not going to work, guys. That's going to put a lot of pressure on the front of your shoulder. It's going to give you more of a bicep workout than it will a back. Let me show you a good rep. Watch how I'm going to take the rep and I'm going to actually pull it into my, almost my hip pocket. So I'm going to be here instead of here. So let me show you again, here instead of here. Now, let me show you how to do a double arm row. I'll show you over on TRX, let me check this out. So watch what I do, this is the flaw where I'm pulling all the way back with my elbows too far back versus in this position where my back is activated but I'm not over rowing my row. Another big thing to keep in mind guys is you don't want to pinch your shoulder blades together as you're rowing. You actually want to spread your back and row with your lats, with all the posterior muscles. So don't think you have to row those shoulders together and pinch those shoulders together. To review real quick, elbow no further than your rib cage. And number two, don't pinch those shoulders together. If you're having some front of the shoulder pain, if you're getting some bicep and arm pain, make sure that you check these things out. Thanks so much, we'll talk to you soon.